Now, tell me about that time that you were on your way to school at Utrecht. Uh, I guess this was what about, geez, six years ago or so. It was so. in 2010, I think. The time the cops made you cry. Oh, it was really horrible. So in, the, I was still living in the Netherlands and I did an education and. Um, uh, in the Netherlands, they just had a new system with like uh, with traveling for traveling. Instead of buying tickets for the train, you had to. Everybody had this travel pass. And you had to put money on it, and then when you went to, to like in a bus or a train, you had to, this device, and then you had to bleep. You know, you just had to check in with your card, and then you were checked in. And then when you got out of the train or the bus. You had to like bleep it again and then the system would calculate how many kilometers you had traveled and how much money you had to pay and that amount of money was going to be taken off your card, of your travel card. And um, But everybody still had to get used to it and a lot of those devices they didn't work when you tried to check in or check out. And um, but. When I was going to school in Utrecht, it was extremely, extremely chaotic for me that the public transportation. You took you took the train every day from Appledore to Utrecht. Yeah. How long did yeah. that take? Um, it took about forty-five minutes with with the with the train, and then in Utrecht itself, itself, I had to take a bus from the train station to school. And um, so I got off the train that particular day. And I was like, yeah, really tired because the, the the public transportation itself always really drains me because it's so extremely chaotic. And in in Utrecht itself, it's always really crowded. All those students, because it's like a real student city, it's like a, a, like universities there, and so it's really really crowded always at the train station and difficult to find your way around and. And so I was like waiting for the bus there and I was like, um, when the bus came I was trying to get on the bus. But because everybody push, pushes himself on the bus, like there's no waiting line here, so everybody just pushes himself on the bus to try to have a seat. It was really difficult to get to that device where you have to like check in with your, with your travel pass. And so I didn't get to that. I, I, I just I just couldn't check in because everybody was like pushing around and pushing me around and so um, then I was on the bus and then uh, like I had to get off where my school was at the bus stop and so there I just um, bleeped to check out but then I realized oh I I, I didn't check in so. So it said yeah, you just checked in. So then I bleeped again and was checked out. But there were like police officers there to to call, to do like um, checkups if everybody uh, was like yeah checking in and out and paying their um, yeah the money for the bus. And um, one of them saw that I bleeped twice at that device, so that he saw that I hadn't checked in. And I was just walking towards school, and suddenly he grabbed me by my arm, and and he started like uh, like drilling me, asking me questions, and then I saw that you you checked in twice, that you bleeped twice, and and why did you do that? And and I was like shocked already by the fact because he grabbed me quite hard by my by my arm, and. Um, and also because he didn't really give me any chance to answer, he was like a asking all the questions like really fast and in quite of an angry way. And so I was like shocked by that and and um, so I couldn't answer him, which made him even more irritated at me. And, and so he was just standing there and then two other cops, they, they stood around me as well because they saw that he had difficulties with me. And so they stood around me, the three of them, and, I was, and they asked me questions all at the same time. So I got even more like, yeah, like in shock over that and not knowing what to say at all. And then um, I wanted to show them my autism card so that they would understand that I have autism and that, that that's the reason why I just 
had trouble answering their questions and that maybe they would have a little bit of patience for me. But I reached in my backpack which was standing on the ground because they had taken it away from me. And then, and then they got like really edgy and like really like, I think they thought I was taking some, that I wanted to get like something dangerous out of my backpack or so. And so they grabbed my backpack away from me and they, they started to like keep answering me questions of what do you want to take out of your backpack and they didn't give me the chance to answer so I just got more and more in distress and and the end of the story is that they they gave me a huge fine I could pay immediately or later at home but when I paid it later it was 10 euros more expensive well, how much was the fine? it was 27 dollars, 27 euros yeah euros and, and, uh, or 26, 26, and when I, if, I, if I decided to pay later, they would send me like a check, I mean a bill, then it was even 10, dollars mo 10 euros more expensive, so I chose to pay immediately, but I, I was shaky and I was like totally in distress, I mean I, I walked to school and at school I immediately went to the toilet and I just bawled and cried and cried and also because of the money, but also because I was so in distress. I was just so shocked the way they handled me, and I just felt like I was treated like a criminal. Yeah, they just didn't understand. And then you went home. I went home because I, I just I, I couldn't stop crying, and I was I was so in distress. I just I just I just knew that there was no way I could go to class and and be able to concentrate. Were you school. able to get the word autism out of your mouth? Did you no. were ever able to show them your past or explain no. to them that you were autistic? I couldn't get anything out of my mouth. Not anything. No, they were asking the questions like they didn't even pause to give me a chance to, to, to answer, let alone... No. Why do you think they were that way? If I may ask that. I do think that they come across a lot of aggression. I think there are a lot of people who do travel, you know, like they call it black traveling actually in the Netherlands. When you racist. try to Yeah, but that's the when when you try to uh, not pay for, for your in travels and I think they come across a lot of aggression and, and I was a red flag because I didn't respond and to them it was like I didn't cooperate but I tried to cooperate but just because of my autism I just I just totally froze. I wonder how different it would have been if you would have been able to just get out the word autistic. Yeah me too. Maybe they would have understand then and maybe they would have said yeah yeah excuses or, or you know like right, um, right. You, you never know how they would respond. Maybe it's now true, it's different. You never know. Yeah. I've heard I've had people look you in the eye right in front of me and say autism is no excuse for blah blah blah. Yeah, know? yeah. No, that's what I mean. That's so crazy. Yeah. <laughs>